as you guys see, I'm in a new setting. I'm in my dorm, and I want to decide to do a video. I know I haven't. I just posted two videos that have been kind of MIA from YouTube. There's been a good reason why, and as you guys can see, take a look. It's because I have a protective style in my hair. So, you guys, it's school. I'm starting my junior year of um, college, and honestly. School is just so stressful. So much is going on. I literally have no time to think about my hair. So last semester, I decided to have my natural hair out. And I felt like I was to have more time. I spent more time doing my hair than actually studying, actually doing school. It was just so much and I couldn't do it. It was so hot. My hair, I would spend hours doing my hair at night and it would frizz up in the morning. I said never again. So I decided to do a protective style. So I just want to talk to you guys about the importance of protective styling and giving your hair a break. And this is going to be a whole series. I'm going to have this in. I've had this in since the... Uh, I want to say the first or second week of August. I can't remember. I'll put the date right here. Either the first, either the first or second week. I think it was the first week. Okay, whatever. I'll put the date right here. But I just want to talk to you guys about the importance of protective styling and giving your hair a break. So I can honestly say that um, twenty fifteen has been the worst year for my hair. So I went through a lot of changes. Um, I colored my hair. I also colored my hair in October, which was close to winter time. So that was a hot mess. My hair was super dry. It was breaking off because it was freezing cold here in Georgia, and my hair just could not take it. So I received a lot of breakage from my hair. My hair was really dry, and it took me a while, like pretty much, pretty much March until probably the probably like August to really repair my hair and to bring moisture back and to just get my length back and to make it all good again. So after that, I was like, I can't do that to my hair anymore. I decided to dye it back to black. I did the Shea Moisture Hair Color Kit. It did not damage my hair. It actually made my hair more moisturized, which I was super surprised. So I have a video on how I did that. I've done it before to receive the brown color that I had. And then, of course, I got highlights on top of it. If you want to see both of those videos, I'll link it down below. I did that. My hair was actually way too black for this hair as you guys can see it's not really black black it's like a it's an off black it's like a brownish black to me so my hair color did not match and I ended up having to um do different treatments to get my hair color back to um to make it a little bit lighter which honestly it didn't dry out my hair that much but it did dry out my hair because I was using um what is it? Um, I can't think of the brand, but the anti-dandruff sh shampoo and vitamin C. So think about how dry that is to my hair. So honestly, I was just doing so much to my hair. It was time to give it a break and to put it up. And um, I decided that after that um, whole situation, I decided that I'm going to do a protective style at least, two, at least two months out of the year. Because honestly, it's good to just push your hair out because you don't want to manipulate it so much. So yeah, so I just want to talk about... Um, some of the benefits that I've had from protective styling. I've done protective styling before. Um, when I was flat ironing my hair, I was kind of natural and not natural. I uh, big chopped. And then I would always have my hair in a ponytail, but sometimes I would flat iron it. So just the breakage from pulling on my ponytail and um, having my hair tied up in a ponytail. And then also flat ironing it. My hair was really uneven and like breaking off. So I went to a really good hairstyle. She doesn't live in the Georgia area anymore. She actually moved to California. But I went to her and she honestly repaired my hair so much. I went to her, um, I want to say two or three times. And she repaired my hair so much with um, the sew-ins. So after that, I was such a believer. The first month when she did my hair, literally my hair grew three inches. I did take Hair Affinity for one month of that. So maybe I got one inch from Hair Affinity. But um, I'll insert the picture here. But my hair pretty much grew three inches. Um, and it was fuller. All because of that. And obviously I had to trim as well. So my hair could have grown more. I don't know. But ever since then I've been a believer of protective styles. And believe that everybody should do a protective style. So I'll give your hair a break. And it's low maintenance. And then also if you're working out. If you're in school. 
you only you don't want to have to do your hair every day i literally do this once a week on sunday and it lasts me the whole week sometimes i can really go to monday but of course i feel like i have to wash my hair because i wash my natural hair every other every sunday as well so i also have a video and i also have a tutorial in this video to show you how to get this style but yeah and it also like i said before it helps you retain length it's allowing your hair to get off optimum growth because it's up i mean literally only have like a little bit of leave out as you guys can see in the rest of my hair it's up so yeah so i also want to talk um i'm going to talk in a separate video about the importance of finding a great stylist but i also want you to remember your hair goals if you're getting a protective style i think a lot of people have like I don't know like they're afraid of getting extensions maybe because they haven't had a good style so they hear all these horror stories about stylists who aren't great and who do their hair and break it off you want to make sure that your um hairstyles isn't making your braids too tight my braids don't feel tight at all i didn't have any pain if you have pain go back that's the problem this happens to my sister i know she probably doesn't want me to say this but literally a braid fell off of her hair like her natural hair it pulled her hair out because it was so tight so ever since then if I feel my braids are too tight I will tell the stylist you're paying for it so don't be afraid to tell them that hey this hurts you're doing way too much you need to stop okay it's your hair so um and then remember if you don't want heat damage why would you get straight hair so just make sure that you know what your goals are if you're trying to grow your lips so when you wear your hair curly that it looks better all around they get some curly hair to blend in. Me, this hair is a naturally curly hair, but it's wavy because I've had this hair for over two years. The hair I'm wearing is called Sassy Mitchell. It's the Brazilian naturally curly. I'll leave the link down below. I have two bundles in my hair and it goes for $185 a bundle. I got this for my senior, actually I've had this hair for over three years. I got this my senior year of high school, but I've worn it in a two, I've worn it, I've worn it probably, this is my third or fourth time wearing this hair. So obviously it has like a wavy curl to it, which is why I flexi ride it. But I do flat iron my hair. I flat iron my leave out. But I haven't received any heat damage from it. I hope, fingers crossed, I don't because of what I'm doing to protect my hair, which I'll get into that later. So make sure you know your goals. There's a lot of great curly hair out there. Like heat free hair is the one that comes to mind. My next protective style will be with heat free hair. It'll probably be either, I think I may use this hair one more time or um, I don't know if I want to do curly in the winter because I think I am going to do a protective style again in December. Just deciding on what I want to do. But I know either next summer or the winter I am going to use heat free hair, which I'm excited about. There's big chop hair. There's a lot of different natural hair companies out there. You just have to look to make sure that you get good quality because you also have to remember um, with the curly hair, sometimes you get different textures per bundle. So you want to make sure that you find a good brand where each bundle is the same texture so it blends in with your hair and that it also matches your natural hair texture. So yeah. So um, I also want to talk about... Um, how I incorporate locks into my hair care um, regimen. So you guys, I am a product junkie. I have like a video of all the products that I have. It literally took like, it was like 20 minutes long. I'm like, I'm not uploading this, it's way too long. So I'm trying to shorten it right now <laughs> to make it shorter. Or I may just take out me talking about the products that I have and just like show you guys an overview. And if you guys want to go into detail of the products that I have, I will. But, um, I'm in college, you guys. I don't have time to go to the store and go through the product out and try to find products that work for me. And one of my favorite things about locks is I think a lot of people think it's a natural hair website. They just sell natural hair products, but it's a healthy hair website. So they sell products that work well for all hair types if you're relaxed natural transitioning if you have in um extensions it's going to work for your hair so i'm going to talk about the products that have worked for my hair that are featured on lots and obviously literally it takes less than three days and if you spend over 35 dollars you get free shipping so this is why i love shopping with them i'm always probably going to always say their names in this in my videos because i've just had amazing service from them so yeah so i want to talk about the products that i use i have used four products one i got at the world natural hair show 
So um, I'll tell you about that Well, but I only use four products. If you see, um, I brought so many products with me, but I only keep picking four products to use for my hair and these products have worked amazingly as you'll see in this tutorial. So I have no reason to choose any other products, but yeah. So the first thing I do is I shampoo my hair and normally when I wear my hair curly, I don't shampoo weekly. I usually do cold washes, but since I am flat ironing my hair, I feel like it's very important for me to shampoo it to make sure that one, I don't get heat damage, even though of course you get heat damage when you flat iron your hair. But I feel like when I shampoo my hair, I'm able to strip it from like all the residue so that way I can really see like my natural curl to make sure that it's still intact. So, I use the Meat All Organics Babusu Oil Shampoo for dry and curly hair tights, which I love. On Obviously, I have I have used a lot of this, and oh, I wish that this, you know how sometimes products have a line that show, but I have used a lot of this product. As you guys, I don't know if you can see, I've used a lot of it, which I'm really surprised because I'm not that big of a fan of shampoos, but I really do love the shampoo, and this hair loves this shampoo. When I first um, had extensions, I literally used the cheapest products, like um, Tresemme, and yeah, that's pretty much it, Herbal Essence. But these products, even though they're more expensive, they work amazingly for my hair and way better than those. So yeah, so I'm loving the Meal Organics Babusu Oil Shampoo. And then after that, I deep condition with the Babusu Oil and Mint Deep Conditioning Protein Treatment. I know it says protein treatment, but just because I'm using so much heat on my hair, I don't mind using it um, every week and my hair does not feel dry. Actually, my hair always feels super moisturized after I use it on my hair, so I haven't experienced any problems with it. If I do have a problem, I have my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Deep Conditioner, which I love, and I'll just use that. You can get that at Locks too. And then afterwards, I follow up. When I tell you this is so simple, it's so simple. I just follow up with a conditioner. And Colts by Nature Hydrating Shea Low Creamy Conditioner. You guys, this is like, this is so amazing. Like, literally, I love it. It makes my hair so moisturized. It's just, I don't know what it is, what's in here, but it's so good, and I love it for my hair. And I, if you can feel my hair right now, is why I keep touching it. It feels so soft. Even, like, my leave out, of course. But my hair, the hair, the extensions, feels super duper soft. And I credit that to this. I have used so much of this. It's ridiculous. I love it so much. So I'm so glad that these products can work for extensions too. And then also what I got at the Run Natural Hair Show. I got this for free and I've had it for a while because I don't fly iron my hair. So I've been using this. It's the Cream of Nature um, Argan Oil Heat Defense Smooth and Shine Polisher. And it's supposed to be a serum for um, to protect your hair from heat damage. And it has been protecting my hair very well. So I really love it. Um... For my hair and that's really it super simple I only use four products and three of them I got from locks and of course these products together you can get free shipping literally so go on locks www.mymylox.com to get some of these to get these products and to do a protective style on your own hair I tell everybody that they should do a protective style and also the next video I'm going to be doing I told you I'm, this is a series so one of the next videos coming up is how to protect your natural hair underneath because a lot of people forget that you have real hair going underneath your hair so that means you have to protect it as well especially as the hair that's out too so yeah so I'm going to do a whole video about that but I don't want to keep talking too long I'm going to go ahead and show you the tutorial on how I get my hair like this and how it lasts me a whole week so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys subscribe like and comment and i hope you guys have a fabulous day and i hope you enjoy the rest of this video so yeah